today's video today's video is going to be for yes special message for you from the creator this yes so this message is going to be something that's super important something that is like you need to know right now and something that is like nobody else will tell you only the creator will tell you only the universe will tell you so yes so this is that video for you and there are four options here okay i don't have any fancy options here but it's just option one two three or four and out of these options you have to select one option and watch the video based on the timestamps given below now because there are four different options yes there could be one option that is calling your attention and there could be more than one option that is calling your attention in that case you can watch both the options okay so yes and that is how it goes now, now there are certain things uh, if you don't want to uh, if you don't want to listen to the introduction you can skip directly to the to your option and you can watch your video and if you want to go through the necessary yes nitty gritties of introduction of this video then please please hold on we are not going to take any longer okay so first of all this video is like a timeless video there are going to be things that are yes there may be a few things that will resonate with you there will be a few things that may not resonate with you whatever resonates you have to keep it whatever does not resonate you have to let it go i am Preeti. i have been doing tarot since past 19 plus years and in these 19 years i have read for like thousands of people across the globe just sharing this with you so that you know that you are in good hands and that you can depend on this reading okay so yes because this is a timeless reading at any point of time whenever you come across this video yes there is going to be uh, things that are going to yes be valuable for you there may be a few things yes that may just not resonate initially so yeah in both the cases yes this video is for you okay so let's get started just in case if you chose option number one let's see what do the cards say what is that special message for you first of all the special message says that you have extraordinary intelligence you have extraordinary intelligence smartness brain power um, communication power you are some, somebody who has a very sharp mind it could also be like a sharp mind with a sharp tongue okay so you need to make sure that you use your mind strategically you use your tongue strategically okay that is one thing the second thing is that you are somebody who can manipulate people okay you can you can help change perspectives you can help people think differently you know somebody who is thinking in just a very very constricted way for several years they have a constricted mentality you are somebody who can shift mindsets so you have to be careful why how you do that okay make sure that you don't do that in a negative direction make sure that you don't uh, yes you don't make negative use of this okay that being said uh, this guy is also though this guy is super sharp minded he is not he is not proud about it right he he does not flaunt it he does not show off he knows that he has this ability and he just uses it whenever it is needed so you are supposed to be this way the next card we have here is this card this card actually so shows the amount of wealth that is in the family so you are somebody who, who has a lot of family wealth so this family wealth could be uh, yes family money it could also be that yes it is handed down from several generations or it is that it's just from your parents okay so whatever it is yes this money is something that you are supposed to um you can say you can cherish it you can enjoy it but at the same time yes this family money is something that is also going to be used for entire family's purpose okay it is going to be used for family and you may not be able to selfishly claim it okay at the same time the property that you have the property that you have the the yeah resources the materials the mm, yes everything that is collectively belonging to the family that is definitely going to be distributed amongst the family okay so that being said the next card we have here is this card this card actually shows uh yes that is what something in your life needs ending and uh, maybe presently you know there is something that needs ending something in your life is where you are not letting it go you're just holding on to it you are grabbing it thinking that it is worth it 
you're grabbing it thinking that you need to hold on to it see sometimes people don't know what they need to hold on to and what they need to let go sometimes see you know like yes the world is complicated you know what you learn from this world is complicated sometimes you know when you learn some things where uh, if if you love something dearly you should not let it go you should fight for it you should stand up for it you should defend it so stuff like that at the same time if, if there is something else like if you have a goal and you believe in that goal you should defend it you should stand for it you should make it come true so uh, when it uh, you know when when there are like yes when you, when card like this comes and if you are standing firmly for something which is not getting in, inside your hands that means that things need that thing needs to be let go of okay so that is something you need to let go and the last card we have here is the card for leadership the card for responsibility the card for being the leader the monitor somebody who is above yes somebody who who wants and who likes to manage somebody who has the ability to manage so you are this person and you know you can manage things really well so yes this is something this is the sort of a role that is going to be always given to you so no matter whatever you are doing sometimes you know you may say oh but why does this sort of work always come back to me but this is something that you know you are supposed to do this is uh, this is your inbuilt ability which is why you know this sort of work is always given to you okay so yeah so that is it for today's video i hope that this video has helped you if you have liked this video hit the like button try to share this video with others i will see you again in my next video do stay subscribed to my channel let me know in the comment box below how much does this video help you and until next time keep following the path of your soul's purpose because you are born for a reason thank you so much for watching bye bye okay just in case if you selected option number two let's see what is that special message for you so first of all yes um we have this card this card actually shows that you are some some you are somebody who is a very emotionally emotionally disturbed person whenever you are disturbed it is very difficult especially emotionally disturbed okay not physically disturbed not mentally disturbed but this is emotional dis uh, disturbance that you are just finding it too difficult to handle and you may not be able to handle it you may not be able to uh, manage this by yourself you may not be able to manage yourself and be stable so this this shows there is a lot of emotional disturbance that you need to take care of that is one thing the second thing is you know this cards because this card has come for you this card actually shows that no matter whatever how much ever it might seem impossible for you to be emotionally stable it is going to be possible for you once you start once you try it okay once you start trying it unless you don't try nothing is going to happen so this card actually motivates you that you need to try to become emotionally stable that is one thing the second thing is you know the more balanced you are okay emotionally balanced physically balanced mentally balanced the more you stay balanced this card actually assures that um, yes your life is going to stay balanced everything around you is going to be taken care of everything all the people around you they will be taken care of situation around you yes that will be taken care of the macro universe around you is going to take care of itself if you are somebody who is just being balanced you know you are stable and you are balanced that is one thing the second card you know we have here is there is a uh, yes this this shows pondering over your resources pondering over your money your belongings your property what does that mean pondering over your resources is whatever your whatever resources you have you are supposed or or maybe suppose some new resources that you are planning to buy this is where you know you need to do a good amount of brainstorming before you buy something before you uh, yes before you try to get something you have to make sure that you try to brainstorm what exactly you need how exactly that thing needs to needs to work for you and then you can yes systematically plan it and only then take that into action the second thing is this is also about the materials that already exit exist not exit uh, all the materials that already exist around you all the materials and utilities all the items the stuff that you possess so this is actually something that you already own and this is also about thinking carefully on using it carefully 
the things that you have you need to use use it carefully let's say like you have this water bottle yeah this is not yours this is mine anyways let's let's take for an example this is your bottle and you're supposed to thoughtfully use it now it's not like that that if i want to drink water i'm like thinking 10 minutes before i drink water from it not that way okay but when i am using when i am handling this bottle i have to be super careful i have to be super watchful how i use it make sure that you just you are just not randomly using things around you make sure that you are not neglecting things around you that belong to you because yes things are valuable and i know you know that uh, you know spiritually we say that materialistic things don't hold any value because a soul is more valuable life is more valuable yes that's definitely the case but once you come into this earth the reality the the rules of this planet also apply on you that the materials that you possess are going to be limited you don't have abundance of uh, you don't have abundance of everything even if um, okay now this this can be taken as a negative statement because i know that a lot of people you know they they follow such affirmations they follow such channels where they they see that oh everything is in abundance whatever you want always comes to you always overflows to you but how many times do you see that in reality what you want it's it's coming in excess like in uh, infinity right there is nothing that is like infinity even the wealth of ambani's the wealth of elon musk is finite you can count it right it's not infinite so that's what i'm trying to say that, that whatever is finite can be something that can be worn off that can be that can be depleted which is why this says you need to be watching out while you're using your materials same thing applies to your property to your money and even to your body yes your body is a uh, it's it's a non renewable resource uh, yes your health is like uh, you may say okay health is renewable resource in a way right so you need to make sure that you are providing your body with healthy foods healthy healthy lifestyle so that uh, whatever yes your health stays renewable your good health stays renewable where your immunity fights against against sicknesses illnesses and you can regain your good health after a while right that is a renewable source of health but renewable resource what you call as your health but sometimes if you indulge too much into unhealthy foods unhealthy lifestyle yes the, the renewable resource is not going to stay renewable for a long time right you know that sometimes you know when you just when you just overly burn yourself out that's not how you're supposed to use your body so make sure that you take care of it if, if, take care of it this card says that there are always two options on your mind you're always your mind is always double minded your mind is always split between two different options and you are just not able to get the yeah you're just not able to um, yeah you're just not able to feel what is the correct thing for you you may be confused you may feel indecisive you may just not be able to take any actions but yes so this card actually says that it, it is just you know going to be impossible for you to always have like always be like a decisive person you may feel you may find yourself to be indecisive from time to time this card shows uh, the a sword a sword is needed in your life right now or it could be a sword is needed in your life from time to time overall throughout your life so what does a sword do a sword is something that can actually cut through illusions a sword is something that can cut through something that is unwanted and uh, usually a sword is used in a war right but uh, right now you know luckily people don't have to fight a war because soldiers are fighting it for them so when you in olden times you know sword was always symbolic for something symbolic to cut through enemy so what is your enemy enemy is something that you don't want to be in your life now uh, in reality yes in reality people who are negative you cannot treat them like your enemies you can just distance yourself from them okay but at the same time a sword is also cutting away from unwanted things unwanted resources unwanted situations unwanted events and unwanted people now cutting away from unwanted people it just means that you need to cut cords you need to cut ties with that person let that person live let that person live their life the way they are living and you just distance yourself you just set a healthy boundary line so that they are not crossing that boundary line 
ever again okay so yeah so that is it for today's video let me know in the comments how does this video help you if you have liked this video hit the like button and see you again in the next video until next time bye bye okay just in case that you chose the option number three i know this this the angle of this video is really weird that it makes my fingers look bigger and it's it's just yes it's like a trapezium okay uh, i think i think you get it what i mean so yeah just in case if your option is option number three then let's see uh, what do the cards have to say first of all the cards say that universe has this message that you know you fight a lot you fight a lot second thing is you are just fighting too much uh, yes the fights that you are fighting are all unnecessary fights like nine out of ten fights that you are having are unnecessary fights and they don't lead you anywhere sometimes you know i have seen that people who fight a lot people who enjoy defending themselves they are somebody you know they they usually are just offended by by people questioning them they are just offended by people not listening to them they are just offended by people not uh, considering what their op what what their mindset is what what ideas they are sharing so you are supposed to be somebody who is a super calm person somebody who is a very much uh, yes you are supposed to be somebody who is very watchful very selective of the fights you get in okay and if if there is an, a fight that's happening that is important for you like uh, you are at your workplace and there is an argument in a very important business meeting and you are included in that uh, argument so me make sure that you know during that process you are trying to listen to others right what happens during a fight nobody wants to listen to others everybody wants to just prove that they are right so you have to try to make sure that you're listening to others because yes if it is your job you always want that your job is valuable and it is like it's it's going to stay safe right that the next card we have here is this card this card says that uh, yes we have this card for backstabbing yes you you are very susceptible to backstabbing you have been backstabbed in the past and you could again face this sort of backstabbing in future as well sometimes you know i do see uh, some people are very susceptible to this and why people are susceptible because you are too much trusting okay like and whenever i tell people that you don't have to trust people don't trust people easily they just say that oh that 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 just feels so negative you just you just don't have to be so negative you know you can trust everyone god is inside everyone god was even inside the people who created war right so yes definitely you know you are not supposed to trust each and everybody so easily and uh, make sure that you're not trusting everybody easily especially the people around you who are i think family is something you know that uh, that sometimes you know you can trust but other than family there are people that want to make you feel that they, you are special that want to make you feel that you know they will do everything for you but that's not the case how it turns okay the next card we have here is this this card shows yes so because of we had this card of backstabbing this card actually says you have to be careful you have to make sure that you are judging each and everybody that is around you judge each and everybody for a prolonged period of time see whether they are worthy of it or not that you put your trust in them and only then try to trust them okay the next card we have here is this this card says that uh, this is about a woman that is around you or this could be that if you are a woman then this is the card then this is you okay this shows that you are a very yeah i don't like to say this but yes this this is like a ruthless woman this person is very ruthless because because of the work that she is doing because of the job that she has like she, she has a very responsible job she has a job that she has to answer for yes she has some seniors that she has to answer to for this job and it is it is important that she does this that she makes people do their work so she has to be ruthless okay so this is the card for that woman and yes this is the woman that you are or there is somebody around you who is this woman and if it is this woman that's around you you have to make sure that you are a very 
sharp a person you are very sincere in what you are doing you are very dedicated in what you are doing okay so yeah so that is it for today's video i hope that this video has um yeah this video has made sense with you if you have liked this video hit the like button share this video with others subscribe to my channel let me know in the comments how much does this video help you until next time bye bye okay so just in case if you chose option number four let's see what is it that you have to do in order to yes this is a special message for you from the universe so the first thing you know we have is this this card actually shows that um yes you know a lot of strength is there inside you you have a lot of latent strength that is inbuilt inside you and this strength is something that is going to save you from all sorts of trouble that is one thing second thing this card says that you could be feeling weak inside but this card says that that is not you know what you have to feel you are somebody you know who can be extremely extremely strong and you have to show that strength you have to bring out that inner strength from you because that is how you know your life is going to you are going to deal with your life throughout you know you will have to be super strong yes dealing with situations in your life so whenever I say this, people actually assume that there is going to be a lot of problems because of which, you know, you have to be strong. Now, tell me, tell me the name of one person on this planet who does not have any problem in their life. Okay, everybody on this planet, they have problems and even the richest people, you see the top 10 list of Forbes, uh, right, richest people, even those people, they have problems in their life. So it, it doesn't mean that if you are, um, let's say, let's say that if you are somebody different, you will have lesser problems or you won't have any problems also at the same time if you are not strong does not mean that your problems are going to be dealt with sometimes you know people they just give up easily they just they just uh, be weak easily because they feel that help will come easily if they are weak to be strong is it requires a lot but it, to become weak you just need to you just need to give up right so a lot of times you know yes psychologically you know this is super deep what i'm telling you and you may have not thought in this sense so giving up and considering that life is bad people are bad everything is bad and nothing can be done is actually victim mentality and thinking that way it, it does not require any strength but strength is yes no matter what your life is trying to make things better that is what your strength is that is how much strength you have to bring out inside within yourself and no matter how much ever strength you will bring out today there there has to be more and more strength that you will discover in the future so don't think that this is just momentary strength it is going to be the strength that you have to cultivate for a lifetime okay the next card we have here is this card this card says that um yes some some level of learning is required so what level of learning is required like learning for from everything that you are experiencing learning from everything that you are going through and learning from whatever is happening so this is something that you know you have to do that is first sort of learning the second sort of learning is learning from people around you you know most of the times people who experience things themselves they are they are amazing but people who learn from others experiences they are super amazing you have to be a super amazing person so this has to be yes learn from your own mistakes learn from others mistakes third thing is what other sort of learning is anything that you are thinking since a long time oh i just need to learn more about this i just need to learn more about this topic i don't know what is this and i would like to know what that is so try to learn something that you are extremely having extremely curious about you whatever makes you feel too curious you're just hungry for knowledge that is where you know you need to start uh, learning that you need to start searching out for that knowledge the next card is whatever you do in life whatever yes wherever you take the next step it always has to be in a direction that you love now what does this mean it means that if you are doing a job okay or if you're looking for a job and if you want to apply for a job it has to be a job that you would really love to do okay sometimes you know people just look at the salary look at the money that they are going to get and they just see okay that's it i'm not going to see anything else i'm not going to see the responsibilities that are going to be offered to me i'm just going to be okay with 
the salary yes make sure that the work that you are offered is something that you love okay that let's say you are you are going to get married try to get married to a person that you love uh, let's say you are going to you are choosing a place for a vacation try to choose a place for a vacation that you love okay so yes you always have to select something that you love that is where you know you need to take steps forward and when you do that your life is going to run smoothly okay the last card we have here for you is this card this card says that uh, from time to time in your life you may see that you are confused you are indecisive you just do not know how to go uh, how to go ahead you may feel tied up you may feel the situation is such that it is tying you up so no matter whatever is happening no matter whatever ever the thing is you are supposed to make sure that this is normal okay this is a normal feeling tied up feeling confused not being able to take the next action it is normal for everybody there is no single human being on this earth who is super clear about everything who is super clear about you know what they want to do in life who is super clear about where they want to be in life yes people are confused people are indecisive initially and this confusion this indecisiveness it actually leads you it actually makes you curious and sometimes you know see confusion and indecision these are two sort of uh, things that give you two different emotions state emotional states okay first emotional state is yes you are positively searching for solutions the second is you just get irritated you get frustrated and you're looking for solutions and you know the first method is not that motivating the second method is more motivating people are not people don't find solutions when they are super comfortable people are searching for solutions when they are extremely uncomfortable so you are if you are somebody who who gets frustrated irritated because of not being able to find the next step or not being able to find your path because of being unclear it's okay and you know that frustration is going to lead you to take better actions it's going to lead you to take better decisions okay and yes do try to make sure that you follow your intuition in every case so yeah so that is it for today's video i hope that this video has made sense with you if you have liked this video hit the like button try to share this video with others i will see you again in my next video do stay subscribed to my channel and let me know in the comment box below how much does this video help you and until next time keep following the path of your soul's purpose because you are born for a reason thank you so much for watching bye bye and yes take care Hi, if you would like to learn tarot and if you would like that after learning tarot you are helping others change their life through tarot guidance such that you are also getting paid in return. Yes, this is a, I'm talking about my tarot certification program. This is a very deep uh, program and you learn tarot like inside out. It is a super amazing program, high quality program that I would like to invite you uh, to join so that yes, it's this is an investment for a lifetime. It's not a free course. Okay, all the details are given on my website. The link of my website is given here somewhere on the screen. So make sure that you go ahead and check it out and register as soon as possible if a class is upcoming you will be able to see all the details if there are no details i would like to invite you to join the wait list so that whenever the class uh, registrations open up you get all the details and all the all the registration details up front so that you can immediately join the class okay that is it go ahead and check out all the details link is given here on the screen